Possum Patty from Pennsylvania here working on my sketchy challenge, hashtag 30 pages, 30 days. This is day 25, and the tip of the day is to ink, wash, and repeat. So today we're going to um, use a pen that is not permanent. I'm going to use my Elegant Writer pen. This is a black pen. It's used for calligraphy. So it has a square tip. And then we're going to take a brush and just some plain water and pull the ink from the line. I like the Elegant Writer pen because the ink comes off in different colors, greenish, bluish, and sometimes even like a pink. I did a sketch here, and so now I'm just going to go over the lines with the ink. I'm working from an old black and white photo that I took of my sister, Kathy. And one of the things that I've learned um, when using the Elegant Writer is that less is better. It does release a lot of ink when you add water. So I'm going over the sketch, the pencil sketch, as lightly as I can with the Elegant uh, Writer. I think I just put too much dark around the eyes, but. The I'll have to fix that at the end. Now I'm just using water in the paintbrush to release the ink. I've learned, uh, again, I've learned that if you put too much down at the beginning, it gets too dark too quickly and uh, you can't lift it up. So some of the layers are going to look a little light and I'll go back and darken them up, especially in the shadow areas. At the end of the video, I'm going to put some close-ups and then you're going to be able to see the beautiful colors that come off the ink of the Elegant Writer, the blues and greens and even the pinks that are released when you add the water. Ignore the foot at the bottom of the frame there. There's a snark trying to get into my picture there. So I'm working slowly with a small brush. This is quite unlike me. I usually like to work fast with a large brush. But this isn't a very large picture and I'm trying to uh, keep some of the details. I will switch to a larger brush just to do um, to lift and make some areas lighter on the face. Working around the eyes now. Is another thing I learned was that I put uh, marks on this page that you can see off to the left and lifting some color from that instead of putting a line on the face and this is how I'm going to do the shadows around the nose and under the eyes and later on that's how I'm going to do um, the shadow under the cheek. So instead of putting lines in those areas to make the portrait more delicate I put the line on another piece of paper and lift some of the ink and just add on a little bit of the wash. I tried not to get the mouth area too dark so I could leave a highlight. Putting a little shadow under the chin. Just like when I did the uh, camel portrait, I liked the way one eye came out and not the other one. So I will take a little uh, white acrylic at the end and put the white spot back in. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Adding some freckles, because she had lots of freckles when she was young. And I did that again, not by putting lines with the pen, but by taking the ink off of other areas. A little strand of hair across the forehead. I think it maybe I probably made that a little too thick. And this is really going to bring out the face. I put some darker layers under her chin there, behind her shoulder. And that's really going to bring out her face. It's going to highlight the face more by making those areas of the hair darker. I 
really took no time at all to do this. Just a quick sketch, a couple of minutes to ink it, and uh, just adding the water. Just It was really, really quick. I'm adding a frame now. Again, stay tuned for the close-ups where you can see the different colors that the ink releases. Last-minute touch-up on that eye, a little white acrylic paint to bring out the uh, highlight in her eye. I think I put a little bit on her lip, but that doesn't really show up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.